and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Haley, and, and you're watching Between the Pages. This this next one, um, what was... I read Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. If, if you've been here a while, you will know my troubled relationship with Shay Earnshaw. Shay Earnshaw wrote my most hated book in the entire, I think my whole entire collection of books. Uh, Winterwood. Uh, yeah, so when I saw that she wrote Long Live the Pumpkin King, I was like, okay, okay, I guess, I guess we're doing this because I'm a huge Night Before Christmas fan. I mean, if you could look, there's actually, I have a wreath hanging on my bedroom door right now that has Jack Skellington on it. I have Jack Skellingtons all throughout my basement down here. So of course I was like, oh yeah, there's a new book. And then it was, there's a new book about Night Before Christmas. Yes, I gotta get it. And it's about Sally and I love her. And then I got it and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Cher and Shaw wrote this book. So I was, I was semi-prepared to absolutely hate this book. Uh, I gave it a three, which is better than Winterwood. I gave Winterwood a two. Or one, I don't remember. I think I gave it a two. Because uh, I liked some elements of that book. But I hated the ending. Um, that's the same with this. There are some elements I like. I like Sally. And I like getting to see um, the different doors. And everything. Oh, I should probably tell you what it's about, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. Two minutes into this video. Um, so this is about Sally, obviously. From Night Before Christmas. Uh, she marries Jack, uh, a year after the debacle with him stealing Christmas and everything. And, um, they go on a honeymoon to Valentine's Day town. So one of the, the heart-shaped door in the circle of trees, uh, that we see in the beginning of the film. Um, and so they go there and then they come back and everyone's like, oh yeah, you're the pumpkin queen and you need like a crown and new shoes and a new dress and she's like I just want silence I want everyone to be quiet I want to be left alone I don't want to have to do any of this because I am Sally I'm a rag doll and that's who I am and so she fucks off to the uh to the hinterlands which apparently is what the woods outside uh Halloween town are called and of course I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking of that Tales from the Hinterland, uh, part of the, the Hazelwood series. So that's what I'm thinking. And I'm like, okay, I feel, I feel like it kind of, I'm not going to, I'm not going to assume that Shay Earnshaw stole that idea, but that's just what I thought was I was just thinking, uh, of that Tales of the Hinterland. Um, so she, you know, like I said, fucks off to the woods to get some peace and quiet. Uh, she finds a door that is like has like a crescent moon on it and she opens it and then she accidentally unleashes a monster from uh that world uh which we come we come out we come to find out later is Dreamtown. <laughs> um so she opens the door and everybody just falls asleep because she has unleashed a, a monster called the Sandman uh which I guess is Dreamtown's version of Oogie Boogie I don't know. I don't know if the other towns have monsters that are like Oogie Boogie and the Sandman. I'm not sure. We don't get that far into it. Um, so yeah, she opens the door. Sandman puts everyone to sleep. And then Sally's like, oh shit, I fucked up. I gotta fix this. So uh, she goes around all the doors, finds out everyone's asleep. Um, she finds this leprechaun in St. Patrick's Day town who's like, well, why don't you just go back through the door? Like, go to Dreamtown. See if someone there can help you. So she goes there and like everyone's speaking in riddles and anytime she mentions the Sandman, they're like, oh no, and they run away from her or they just quit talking. So she's like, okay. So eventually this boy comes up and is like, hey, I heard you're asking about the Sandman. I know people who can help. So she takes, they, the boy takes her to the house of the governors of Dreamtown. And this is where Shay Aaron Shaw lost me. 
This was like, I think 60 or 65%, maybe almost closer to 70% into the book and she completely lost me. I was like, mm -mm, I'm done. I mean, I kept reading because I wanted to see how it ended, but I was like, uh-uh, you've lost me, I'm done. Um, You find out that the governors of Dreamtown, they're ragdolls. Can you guess what reveal happens next? <laughs> It's revealed that Sally is indeed their child, and she was stolen by Dr. Finkelstein and taken back to Halloween Town. Yep, <laughs> that's the big reveal of this book. And I was like, I even put it on my um, my Tumblr. I was like, I don't know if this is clever or convoluted, and I still I still don't know. Like, I have I'm leaning more towards the convoluted part at this point because I'm just like, oh, I'm starting to get angry, <laughs> and I was like really? Like, what? What? <laughs> no. No, just, just, just no. <laughs> so yeah, that's the big reveal. That's where Shay Earnshaw lost me. And I was like, God damn it. I hate this author. <laughs> I, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't like her. I don't like her books. There's one other one called The Wicked Deep that I want to pick up. But I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to have to like bite the bullet and read it. And then we'll see and once and for all whether or not I'm going to continue to buy her releases. Um, so yeah. Sally is the daughter of the Dreamtown Governors who was stolen by Dr. Finkelstein because he wanted a daughter so badly. And he took her back to Halloween Town. Yeah, so I don't I don't have anything else to say about this book. Am I gonna get rid of it? No, I'm gonna keep it just like I I did I did Winterwood. I kept Winterwood, even though I hated it. But so it was so pretty. It was so pretty, and I love Night Before Christmas. And I'm just gonna pretend like this book never happened. So, yeah, uh, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>